Morning everybody. Um, I thought we'd do an early live broadcast today. So we're fresh from Cleveland's Beach. I've got my hat on today for more than one reason. <laughs> I've not washed my hair yet. <laughs> and it's very cold. I've also brought my gloves. Anyway, we're going to go back to looking at the lovely view and see what we know for today. There you go, that's Mary's shell. Can you see underneath it that the footings are, hold on, yeah, that's it, that the footings are all visible at the bottom of the shell? Here comes the finger. Are you ready? There we go. Um, there, underneath, there's a big concrete block, and that's where everybody, where um, it's fastened into the beach, the big concrete block cast in the sand. And then the shell is bolted on top of that. So, what do we know today? Well, it's, I don't know what time it is. It's just got eight o'clock. Cleveland's Beach is quiet, empty. Well, the tide's coming in, so it would be. It's quiet, it's empty. There's a couple of fishermen going out fishing. And whoever is out is far enough away from one another. Including these two. Speaking of game, mate. Look mad when they see that later. So please, please, do we think that we could keep it like this today? Keep everybody two metres apart. Yesterday, Cleveland's was really busy. I'm just going to go for a walk down here and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at this beautiful seafront. Cleveland's was really busy yesterday. Um, I live on the seafront as regular readers will know and yesterday the beach was like Grand Central Station so please today if you're thinking about a trip to the seaside think again go outside go in your own garden do some decorating clean the bath do whatever it is you want to do but don't come on a day trip to the seaside we don't need people coming here and spreading germs and coronavirus from wherever it is that you'll live. If you live on the foul coast, obviously you are more than welcome to come and enjoy our lovely beach. But please, park your car, go for a walk, keep away from everybody, and then get back in your car and go back home. Don't go for a crafty walk to the shops and a crafty sit outside a cafe for a crafty cappuccino because that way we will all end up stuck in our houses locked in for the foreseeable duration that's my best school teacher voice so that's today's public service announcement finished can you remember Charlie? <laughs> Charlie the cat from the 1970s Charlie says so this is one of the shelters on the seafront, which are, they kind of provide 360 degree protection from the weather really, because whichever way the wind's blowing, you can sit in that side, or that side, or maybe that side. And there's one good thing about them, I don't blow down in the wind. So these are the storm gates that have been shut more than they've not been shut for the last, oh I should say month. It's quite ironic, I said this the other day, it's quite ironic that we've had one storm after another, after another, after another. The weather has been vile. And then, lo and behold, everybody's on shutdown and bang, the sun comes out. So that's the beautiful view of the seafront shelter, the cafe, which you are advised to avoid, lady jogging, and Jubilee Gardens. Does anybody know anything about this obelisk? I always thought it had been there for donkey's years. 
And then when I looked at the old photos of Jubilee Gardens, I realised that it's not been there for donkey's years at all. I think it's actually quite new. I think, in fact, I think there's a plaque on it. Maybe I'll go and have a look and see if I can find out. So as you can see, Jubilee Gardens is nice and big and there's plenty of space here for you to keep six foot apart from everybody. Enterprising family getting the activity in before the hordes arrive. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go back and have some porridge and get warm and I'll see you later. Bye.